now to that breaking news out of New York City involving Jeffrey Epstein. I want to bring back in NBC's Stephanie Gosk, who is outside federal court. So, Stephanie, we already know that Epstein is inside facing a judge who will decide whether or not he gets bail. That decision won't come down until Thursday, but there have been some other updates, right? Yeah, there certainly have. Now, I'm going to take you back to the Saturday that Jeffrey Epstein was arrested. You may remember that that Saturday, the FBI searched his $77 million mansion here in New York City. Now, we already knew that they found a safe in that mansion, and they opened it up and found hundreds, if not thousands, of photos of what they describe as seemingly underage women. They also told the court today that inside that safe, they found cash, they found diamonds, and they found an expired 1980s passport with Jeffrey Epstein's photo, but under a different name. And in their description to the judge, they said it was issued by a foreign country with an address for Jeffrey Epstein in Saudi Arabia. And the judge said to the prosecutor, well, do you ha tell us more about this passport? That was all they said. They did not say what country the passport was issued from, but specifically did mention that he had an address, a residence in Saudi Arabia. Obviously, that is, raises a bunch of questions. They went on to talk about how his dangerousness is not only the fact that he has the ability to, to you know, risk of flight that he would leave, but also that he is, a, he is a danger to the community. They are citing specifically his alleged tampering with witnesses. We are also now hearing from his defense team for the first time, and not surprisingly, they are arguing that that non-prosecution agreement that we've been talking so much about that was signed over a decade ago would also include these charges that he's now facing, and they are going to likely argue that they should be thrown out. Hallie? Steph, this is certainly um, a, a new and rather remarkable piece of information now that we're getting out from these prosecutors. Just walk us through one more time on this passport issue, because I want to be sure that we're real clear about it. This was an old passport that had Epstein's face on it, but under a different name, according to prosecutors, right? It, it, that's right. And again, it, it's a very old passport from the 1980s. It's expired. They did not reveal what country issued the passport. They said that it is a photo of Jeffrey Epstein, but a different name, and that it shows his residence as Saudi Arabia. They didn't go any further to say what the significance of that was. It was just kind of put in there. Um, the judge obviously intrigued and it raised some questions. Those questions don't seem to be, have been answered in, in, this, in this hearing. So I think it has a lot of people scratching their heads. I have to tell you, I've been covering this since that incredible yeah. explosive article in the Miami Herald last year. I've never heard Saudi Arabia come up in the conversation. We've heard about the Virgin Islands, a ranch in New Mexico, but Saudi Arabia is a new one for me, that's for sure. Wow, Stephanie Gosk uh, outside the federal courthouse. Where, Steph, this is still going on, right? So we're going to get updates with you and from you throughout the morning, I bet. Yeah, absolutely. In okay. fact, the judge has said it's going to go on for quite a while because there are victims in court and we're, we're expected to hear from them quite the story. Steph, thank you very much for reporting for us live from New York. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Why don't you subscribe? It's really easy. Just click on that button down there. And for more news from MSNBC, click on any of these videos here for the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more videos from MSNBC with our newsletters. Head over to msnbc.com newsletters to sign up.